Phil Swords as well, bro. Yeah, Mr. Swords, man. You know, welcome, welcome, Mr. Swords. <laughs> How you been, Alan, my man? Yeah, man, man, it's been here, man, you know. Back at the Kung Fu shop, you know what I mean? Man, yes, That's how we get down, oh, yes. you know. Yes, indeed. Second part now on the posters, Alan. No doubt about it, my man. Absolutely. Um, we've got this poster here, the broken off. I familiarise yourself a little bit with this one last time, isn't it, Alan? Yep. Um, this right, yeah. poster, basically, is proper late night. Uh, back in the day, broken off. It stars Sam Hong, Bruce Liang, um, Nora Miles in it as well. Um, fantastic cast. Bruce Liang is a fantastic kicker. Um, he was originally known as one of the Bruce Lee imitators. He's a fantastic fighter. Um, he trained up in a Shaolin Temple, uh, apparently, as well. He's a very recognized fighter, Bruce Liang. Some people say that he's far superior to Dragon Lee and Bruce Lai, and I truly agree. Um, if they were not to imitate Bruce Lee, it, it, it would be, they'll be basically looked upon as uh, original then, uh, original, you know what I mean, because what it was, uh, when they started imitating Bruce Lee, uh, certain fighters, it became a little bit pale, um, but, but in his own right, he's a very good fighter, but anyway, this is Broken Oath, proper late night, when I saw this one back in the day, uh, there was a lot of crowds in there, hell of a lot of crowds, Fantastic film, my man. So that's broken off. And by the way, these posters are coming directly um, from Toby Russell. Toby Russell, who's a... Is he still recording? That's right, yeah, it's recording. Yeah, Toby Russell, uh, who is the famous son of Ken Russell. And we, we, we got these posters from Toby. Uh, limited collector's editions, basically. Yeah, Alan, and then we got this here. Exceptional movie. Everyone's familiar with this one, Shaolin versus Wu Tang. Now, now, when this film hit the screens, the first seven minutes of this, of this movie, they're doing the forms like the wushu forms and everything. Uh, sword play involved in this one. The, the sword play in this is just phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, when this hit the screens, Shaolin versus uh, Wu Tang, Gordon Liu apparently came down from China. He came down from China, and Rick Baker and Toby Russell bring him down. Uh, th th this movie. Uh, it's one of my top movies as well. Uh, it's regarded as like, it's, it's regarded as of all time, one of the favourites. Shaolin uh, versus Wu Tang. Brilliant stuff. Gordon that one. I mean, look how glossy that poster is. My that man. is one glossy uh, poster. You know what I mean? Very vibrant, very colourful. Uh, it just speaks for itself, innit? Yeah. It speaks volumes, it sure man. Does, I, remember, man. I remember watching some of these movies in um, yeah. the ABC cinema. Down, Which down one? Edgware Road. Edgware Road, I remember yeah, that yeah. one as well. Back you know, in the day, this is going I around. remember, my friend. And A lot also, of years when we used to sneak out. You know that sort. And there's, there was one in um, Lumpetville, Lewisham. Mm -hmm. You had the Astra Cinema in Dalston. You, uh, you had one, the Rio, late night cinema. I'll okay. show you some more public city stills um, in a second, Alan. Once we've gone through this, um, these these ones basically, which was we, we kept these from the late night days. They're worth a lot of money. These um, what we do, we photocopy them and give them out to our mates and that. ABC Cinema, you, you remember that? Okay. Uh, and then you got Coronet Cinema, Elephant Castle. Um, you got loads here, my man. These are proper publicity stills. When we used to go to the late night cinema, they'd give these out free of charge, Alan. Uh, flyers to let you know what's playing for the following week, basically. Indeed, yes. Uh, yeah, they, these were the ones, man, I mean. Uh, ABC Cinema, Catford, 15th of August, 1980. That just lets you know uh, the, the times when, when they were playing, basically, times, 1980, indeed. man. Funding Manson, look at that one. Odeon Theatre, Peckham. What a film, bro. Yeah, Wicked that's a, film. That's a great film. Oh, great solid film, film man. Dapper Don, all the way. Um, Elephant Castle, Coronet Cinema, Elephant Castle, that one as well. Then you had ABC Cinema, I think that was the one you was all about, my man. That's ABC correct, yeah. Cinema, Catford, 15th of August 1980. That, that was playing half and half of Kung Fu, Jackie Chan. ABC Cinema, Catford, late night showing. Uh, these are priceless, man. We've got another one there. I've got a double on that one. Oldian Theatre, Peckham, late night show, Friday, 10th of October, Thundering Mantis. Uh, and that's the boy that, do you remember, we spoke about him the other day, Alan. Uh, he's made about between 10, 10 to 12 films. Uh, he's grown up now and um, fantastic fighter. South Boxer, Wong Tile, Iron Swallow, Coronet Cinema. Yeah, Odeon, Lumpitville, Lewisham, which was round the back, but that, cin that cinema now has become 
um, it's become a church, believe it or not. UCKB. You know Randy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know the place in the I used to go there when I was yeah. young, yeah. Yeah. Watch movies. Uh, that's the one. Avenging Boxer. 18 Bronze Winner. That's a classic, bruv. Uh, Carter Wong, one of his, I'd say, I'd say to me, uh, he expresses himself really well in the 18 Bronze Men. Carter Wong, alongside Born Invincible. This one is a good one as well, my man. Legendary Weapons of China. Gordon Liu. It's got Lu Chi Liang Pops in it as well. Fantastic film. It's one of the best weapons films to date ever made. In the English cut, they took out about, apparently it took, they took eight weapons out. It's got 10 weapons um, taken out. And in this one, they're showing you 18 weapons. Okay, uh, okay. In Legendary Weapons of China. Uh, they're swinging around the ball staff, my man. Also the uh, Quan Do, uh, Tiger Hooks, uh, the Chi Sao Ancient rings. weapons. Ancient weapons, Real, real man, warfare yeah. weapons. They're yeah, the ones. Real warfare. Absolutely. Uh, Oldian Cinema, this was back in the day as well. Late night, Friday the 22nd of July, 1980. Uh, and then you got this one as well, called One Arm Boxer. Which, by the way, that was one of the first films that actually started off the late night. One Arm Boxer with Jimmy Wang Yu. Uh, okay, the Krads okay. went nuts over that film. It was just roaring, bruv. Ball to wall Krads. So that was one of the films that started off the late night. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. smoke in the cinemas. Oh, Maybe back in well. the day, yeah, yeah, so yeah. You can have a bit of green while you're well, watching the movies. Whatever's, whatever's, <laughs> whatever the person's into. Uh, we're not judging no one, but that's what they used to do back in the day, yeah. Uh, the Funding Mantis. Look at that vibrant pulse, Alan. Brilliant, beautiful Funky poster. Mantis, my man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. In, in someone's house, when you put this, you can put this in any room and it will just stand out. Uh, and, and if you frame it as well, it'll look even better. The thing about this film as well, yeah. Funding Mantis, yeah. it has a very interesting story. It does. You know, the plot around it, it the storyline is very sure does. emotional. I agree. It is very emotional. Uh, and Beardy, when he, when he made this film, yeah. um, um, basically... The, the crowds went just immense over him. This is the, basically the film that made Beardy, is found in Mantis. Mm. And then you've got another one called Sleeping Fist, which you can watch it back to back out of sequence. They say it's the part one to Found in Mantis. Um, I love both of them. Is it true that this film, that there was actually some footage that was cut out and you can still get That's some correct, yes. The footage actually edited back I'm in. I'm glad, my man, because I almost forgot about it. You've really dropped my memory there, mm. source. Heavy dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that footage, that... that um, Swords is referring to, uh, I can elaborate on that as well. What it is, Beardy, he tears the man up at the end, and what he does, he pulls his arm off and he starts eating the man. He starts eating him basically. Yes, that's correct, uh, he yes. pulled his arm off, uh, and there were certain scenes that, that was looked upon, it was it was quite gory, man, for a martial art film. Was, certain f scenes was like grotesque, and they had to take it out. But then they reapplied it later on in life on the DVD format. It was edited on the video version. If it, you could find it on the video version also, but it's extremely rare. It was a bit of who you know and 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 finding the person to and supply with this film. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, most definitely. Find your man is what a film. And then you got Snake in the Eagle Shadow piping up this film. Oh man, there's steam coming out of this bro. Snake in the Eagle <laughs> Shadow, this is the film that originally <laughs> made Jackie Chan. They wanted to give the, 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 the part to um, Alexandra Fu Sheng, I believe. Um, and and because, this is a true story. Because Fu, sorry, bro, because Fu Sheng was working on another film at the time, I think he was working on Eight Diagram Pole Fighters at the time. And he, he basically would have became as famous as Jackie Chan, um, or if not more famous. Worry, worry, worry to have agreed to the role of Snake in the Eagle Shadow. And I would have loved him, him to have been in the film. Uh, even though Jackie's in the film, he's still solid. Uh, I mean, I love Fu Sheng as well. Uh, Fu Sheng, he, he's a hunger man. Uh, Jackie Chan, apparently, to date, no one absolutely, no one actually knows who his Sifu was. Uh, he was trained by a few people, but he's kept it like well tucked away and well hidden. Uh, if you ask anyone about Jackie Chan, I mean, we're authority on Jackie Chan. No one fully knows who trained him up. Uh, some people say he's a mimic, he's an emulator of martial arts. Uh, the way how he incorporates martial arts, uh, you show him uh, a couple of moves and he, and he absorbs it and, and, he, and he will show it to the, to the crowds. Um, okay. In my views, he's one of the best stuntmen on God's green earth. And he wouldn't get insured for his films because he's having a lot of accidents in a lot of his films. And, and what it is, 
they refuse to insure him because if they did insure him, <laughs> they'd be paying their untold money, mate. The okay. list will be endless. I'd just like to add, if we go back sure, to what sure. you, you said mm. that, Snake and Evil Shadow, as in yeah. no one knows who, who, yeah, who, who actually trained who, who Jackie. Teacher, teacher was, yeah. But what you said was that um, mm. he possibly emulated um, other martial arts. That's, that's correct, my friend. And yes. that's one of the reasons mm. why Kung Fu was actually shrouded in secrecy. Of course. So whatever, so your techniques mm. were always hidden in the in the form. Yes. So it took a really trained eye to actually figure out the real hidden meanings behind the moves. That's so really. no one could actually steal the concepts of that yes, art. Yes, the so idea behind the be art form. Shrouded in secrecy. Mm. And obviously, if you met another opponent in battle, mm. he wouldn't actually know your system. He yes. might, might have an idea of it, mm -hmm. but he wouldn't know the extremes and he wouldn't know the elements of well, it and how it actually correct. really works. Yes. You see, so yeah. secrecy, you know, once upon a time was very important. Oh, Obviously yeah, now, that still exists. There's lots of books and the internet, yeah, yeah. so, you know, martial arts is really out there mm. in the open, but still there's a lot of secrets. Oh, within course, Within man. certain mm. um, There's secrets arts. within the secrets. Yeah, You've got messages true. within the messages. If you can decipher it mm. and extrapolate it down, you can find that. Uh, um, the movements, my man. Uh, mm. I mean, even when Sifu's train people up, uh, I truly believe they hold back certain aspects of martial arts for the simple reason uh, they they put they, they don't want the the student getting better than the master. No, 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 not, even, not mainly because of that. Not even that. Yes, yeah, not so even that. A good yeah, example but, would mm. be, for instance, a teacher. Yes. Okay, he takes a student so far, mm. and then he. He, he the, the student mm. goes about into the world, and yes. then what the so what the teacher, his original mm -hmm. teacher, is hoping that the the basics and the foundation that he's taught him, mm. that he's actually going to look into it, research the techniques, research the moves, and so when he meets mm -hmm. his teacher, say a year or ten years or five years down the line, he's actually improved. He can show his teacher yes. what he's learned. So mm. the teacher gives him the keys. You know, it's up to the students to train hard and study to, of course, to, and open, to open those doors insight. because there's doors within doors, isn't it? Of course there is. Of you course. Know? I could show you the way, but you have to open the door yourself, they say. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's in great depth. I mean, martial arts, a lot of it interacts together. Um, and, and because it does, there'll always be other sifus who will claim it was theirs uh, and that they brought about the system or style. Uh, I mean, Shaolin dates back thousands of years. Uh, and I believe, is it Wu Dang, my friend? Mu, Wu Dang swords, which mm. is even older than Shaolin. Uh, uh, um, you've got the Sifus uh, who practice Wu Dang uh, to an immense, enormous amount of training goes into that. But anyway, yeah, this, this one here, which is Born Invincible, uh, there's many traits in this actual film that is actually based on fact. Uh, it's how you abs absorb, like, like, like when you're doing hunger, um, when you're doing the Hun Quen and, and you're taking on board like all, all the huge blows and huge, huge hits of the other fighters mm. um, uh, and you can take the momentum, you can uh, give the Qi Gong back. Uh, all this is based on facts. So what you're seeing in the films, yeah. um, some of it may, may be outlandish, like it might seem incredible in the films, mm -hmm. but a lot of it is, I'd say 95% of it is actually based on fact. Uh, you've got iron wire, iron shirt, which, which they penetrate huge huge enormous hits um and, and mantis fist like i love i love mantis fist um oh so, so do i <laughs> yeah, of course and yeah, you love it as well especially the iron ox mantis well that's, it's extremely, that's, that's extremely rare that's, iron ox um so we can maybe elaborate on iron ox maybe sometime in the future well we're gonna get we're gonna get sifu sean down here yeah? when we get sifu sean oh, then we can do some footage of uh, sifu sean I'll be able to discuss a little bit. Also, one I'm of humbled by that. One of the I'd love to meet Sean. Oh yes, I know he, he, he's a top man. Oh yes, Sean he love. He wants to meet. He wants to meet you too. So oh, he will be coming down. Thank you, my man. It'd be a pleasure. Also, no doubt about that. You, go on, so was I'm also, yep. also, one of the key points in this yes. in this film, mm. the essence of it was the secret is in the breath. Oh yes, the, the, the qigong, like the breathing the techniques. Breathing that was a, yes, a yes. Is in the breath, uh, and then you've got, the the, you got the eight strands of brocade as well because they couldn't um, they couldn't defeat him till they actually learned how yeah. to um, interrupt his breathing patterns because his sure. power was in the was in was in the um, his his breathing his chi his energy in the chi. so they chi gong. they disrupted that and he was getting, he was he was all them techniques when he was all all, all the breathing techniques and yeah. you like to get the phone home sure thing sir sorry bruv no hello Marshall.